ATM machines are some of the most useful technologies today, and perhaps one of the most prominent that connects our digital world to the physical one. By simply putting in your card, you can instantly get cold hard cash from your bank account. But how is that even possible? We've all used an ATM. After you input your card into an ATM and you input your PIN to ensure proper security measures, then you're met with prompts for how and how much money you want to extract. Once the entire process is approved by the bank, you get your money out. In essence, an ATM machine is a computer that has a mechanical dispenser for cash. Notably, the computer is connected to a secure network that can link up and validate information with your bank account. So what all goes into this giant computer that dispenses cash? The major parts are the main board, the processor of the ATM that houses the CPU, memory, and connects all of the other ATM parts together. Then there's the card reader, the device that reads the card and account information stored on the chip or magnetic strip on your card. Most card readers and ATMs are enabled to read Europay, MasterCard, and Visa-style cards. Called EMV, this is the global standard for card reading. The chip in the card reader creates a specific transaction code for each withdrawal or deposit. Then there's the display, the LCD screen that shows you what you're doing. Then there's the keypad, the main input of the ATM for secure information like the PIN and transaction amount. The cassette, which is the part that holds all of the cash in the ATM. There's the cash dispenser, the part that moves the cash from the cassette to the tray. Then there's the printer that prints your receipt, the power supply that supplies external power to the ATM. Then there's the I.O. board. This is a circuit that controls the communication between the processor and the internet or phone line. Finally, there's the modem. This executes the communications from the processor through the internet. Now that we understand the makeup of an ATM machine and the fact that they're basically just secure computers that hold money, how then does it make sure that you get the right amount of money? or that it's really you requesting the cash. The entire ATM process starts when you insert your card. The main board then signals you to enter your PIN. After the PIN makes it back to the main board, the board sends off a unique EMV transaction code and your PIN to the processor through the I.O. board in modem. The processor takes all of the information and routes it to the ATM network associated with your debit card. Each debit card is actually federally required to have two networks so that the transaction will work in case one network is down. The ATM network then relays your info to your bank that then determines if the transaction is valid, say if your PIN and debit card number match up. If the bank thinks it is, it sends an approval message back to the ATM. This entire process occurs every time you make a new input, like the amount of money you want to get out of the ATM. When the process is completed, the main board initiates dispensing the cash and the dispenser transfers cash from the cassette one at a time. The dispenser mechanism is actually incredibly sensitive and is able to determine if the bills are dispensed properly in the right order. When your money is dispensed, you get a receipt and the main board prepares for the next transaction. It's all fairly simple, but also incredibly secure. Each transaction request and codes are heavily encoded and protected by various digital security measures. In fact, if you want to learn a little bit more about the cryptography that goes into protecting your ATM financial data or other financial data, then watch this video here.